This oh man, your diet do! <laughs> this show is terrible. <laughs> this show was <coughs> terrible. This show sucked. Big time. Immediately, we're introduced to the Diet Do. <laughs> not even two minutes into the night. Oh, this show is brought to you by Diet Do. <laughs> and like, by the end of the first match, King's Diet Do is down about halfway. That's all this fucking guy needs is cancer juice. <laughs> so, first match, Sheamus versus Cesaro for the U.S. title. Oh. Heyman cut a great promo, <laughs> promo on CM Punk, making fun of his dumb ass. And, of course, he had to remind the audience what happened to the Undertaker. Cesaro's theme music, what does it sound like? Okay, so if you remember the like, the vintage Splinter Cell games, when you're walking around, creeping around behind people, there's like this quiet music playing. Then when the guards think they know you're there, the music gets a little more intense. Then when they're sure that they see you and they start shooting at you, this chaotic music starts playing. That's what Cesaro's theme music sounds like. It sounds like Sam Fisher's about to get his ass kicked. It's, it's, it sucks. This was a decent match. Certainly not pay-per-view worthy by any means, but pretty decent. Cesaro did like an inverted angle slam. I don't even know how to describe it, but it looked cool. And then he did the swing on him, and it was great. And then, in a complete no-sell, Sheamus does the small package and wins right <laughs> two seconds. The guy, is, the his upper body is turning red from the blood flowing to it from the swing. And he just wins. A complete no-sell of everything that had happened to him. I fucking hate Sheamus. You ruined Cesaro with this shitty King of Swing gimmick. <laughs> he finally looks like he's going to do something, and Sheamus just buries him. Why does Sheamus need this victory? Do you want to build Cesaro or not? Because that doesn't look like it. you've stripped him of everything that made him popular. You took him away from his tag team. You took away his theme music. You're not letting him do any of the cool shit he used to do. And now you're having him job to fucking Sheamus, who doesn't need it. This was a complete no-sell by Sheamus. He's, he gets swung, and he's on the ground, and he just gets up, oh, yeah, and then small pack. And then he has to give that goofy grin at, at the end of the match. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Fella! What does that mean when he screams fella? That's like if I go out and go, BUDDY! What the fuck is that? I hate Sheamus, and this was complete dog shit. So the next match, when the fuck was this announced? Team Shit versus Rybaxel. What? Is this a pay-per-view oh, match? Oh man, you gotta get the app. You gotta drink Diet Dew. Diet, diet Dew. Whatever. <laughs> Cody Rhodes did the fucking road salt and botched it so badly, Michael Cole had to go, oh, that looks like he lost his footing there in the top row. <laughs> this guy is shit. Okay, fucking dog shit. Rybaxel won. Ryback caught the slap kick into the thing, which was a cool finish. And then Cody says, Goldust, I'm terrible. And then the whole audience agreed. <laughs> Why did this happen at a pay-per-view? The match was about two minutes long. It was stupid and pointless. I liked the ending. But this had no rivalry attached to it. So whoever paid for this is a dummy. If you're, if you're not on the network yet or if you're still not streaming, you're a fucking dick. This was a complete waste of everyone's time. And for the people who didn't join the network because they want to buy the full pay-per-views, is it worth spending, what is it, $50 for this? Rybaxel versus Team Shit. Oh, yeah. Take my money, please. Whatever. Lana came out, and she had wonderful cleavage tonight, and she's got them legs, and she's got a pretty face, and she cut a Putin promo. And then Rusev fought. <laughs> yeah, but Rusev came running out waving the flag on the cartoon characters. And then Big A, Big A, and his flappy tits came out, and they're having like a flag waving duel. It was and so I was just laughing. It was so like go goofy. It was funny. But if any of you like, oh, Rusev's gimmick is just old school and stupid. You, you're the same people who like Dolph Ziggler's current gimmick, which is I'm gonna shave my ass in that pink hair. What the fuck ever? Rusev German suplex titty milk tank. Which That's is, impressive. Which is cool, I guess. Biggie did we that. want Ziggler chance and Sue. There you go. You fucking. This is why we hate the Chicago crowd. That apron spear thing that Biggie does is actually a pretty cool move. I'll give him that. He's still a flappy tit goofball. Excuse me. <laughs> and um, Rusev made him tap out and won the match. Rusev, crush ya! He just does it. Not pay-per-view worthy at all. It would have been pay-per-view worthy if we had a massive, like, titty slip from Lana, but that's never going to happen. <laughs> Instead, we get a titty slip from RVD. Oh, my God. <laughs> so then, oh, 
pay-per-view worthy shit right here. You ready for this? Kofi Kingston versus Bo Dallas. And the way it was announced was so bad on the pre-show. Kofi's on the panel. And Booker all of a sudden, T with his Booker fucking butt. Booker T gets a radio communique. Like, uh, hang on a second. I'm getting something here. Oh my god, Kofi, you are the match tonight. And Kofi's like, oh, I always bring my gear. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He gonna go for the ride. Yeah, so as soon as the bell rang for this match, Kane came out for absolutely no reason and chokeslammed Kofi. And then Bo Dallas said, Kofi, you'll recover if you Bo leave. Which was funny, don't get me wrong. But why the fuck was this at the pay-per-view? There's no rivalry. Where's Kane coming from? Why did this happen? I... RVD versus Bad News Barrett for the... What do you call it? Intercontinental title. The commentary. Long stretches of just complete silence during this match with an occasional brilliant comment from one of the three stooges like, RVD has to avoid the bullhammer. <laughs> but like that would be after long silence, they'd just say that out of the blue. What else did they say? Brilliant shit. People like to give out bad news, Michael. <laughs> and then my favorite. Never get into a fight with an ugly guy, King. Oh, man. All this fucking prick does is tell people that they're ugly. Oh, man. I'm a poor diet dude on Bad News Barrett. <laughs> All that happened in this match was Bad News Barrett won. It was decent, but not in any way pay-per-view worthy. This was unbelievably shitty. Th this is... Words cannot describe how bad this pay-per-view was. The but I can't emphasize enough how bad the commentary was during this match. Like, there'd be a spot outside the ring where, where Bad News Barrett's, like, bullhammering the ring post and RVD's flying around, and they're just like, oh, <laughs> RVD, he slipped up there. No, you, gotta, you gotta avoid the bullhammer. Yeah, yeah, there's just no oh, other way. The bullhammer is ugly. Fucking sell the match! One thing about the NXT TakeOver, yeah, it was, for the most part, dog shit. At least the commentators tried. At least I kind of cared about what they had to say. At least Regal knows, like, the names of moves. Oh, what a throw! So then Stephanie and Cropper had their segment with CM Punk chants ensuing because Daniel Bryan's the most over-wrestler of all time. Stephanie makes fun of CM Punk, which I thought was cool. She's like, oh, Bryan, you hear that? They want you to quit, just like CM Punk. Yeah, but that's bad. They mentioned CM... WWE acknowledged and mentioned CM they Punk twice They did that last time they were in Chicago. They had though. to. That's different. They, didn't, they never mentioned him by name, Whatever. either. Brie Bella is so fucking ugly, I can't stand it. Any of you people who think she's pretty, unsubscribe. She's fucking disgusting. <laughs> These are the same people that say Paige is ugly. God. Do they hate Lana, too? I don't know. Okay, what else happened? Oh, Brie Bella did some amazing acting. You can't fire me! I quit! And when she said that, the crowd chanted, yes. And then Stephanie ran out of the ring. So we don't know what the fuck's happening with the belts. Nothing was resolved. There was no championship activity at this pay-per-view. She just walked out of the ring, and nothing happened with the belts. Why is this asshole holding on to the belt?! This is unbelievable. I thought that he wasn't hurt and they were going to do a super cropper. I'm going to fight 18 guys and win. But no, they just did nothing. They just did nothing. He's champion, but he's never... Yeah, the guy has been on Raw for a combined 10 minutes since he won the fucking belts. This is retarded. You think this guy's great as shit? Oh, but he went on his honeymoon and he's hurt. I don't give a shit. They take the fucking belts off him. And then we got the Cena match. <laughs> Here we go. We all knew Cena was going to win. The, no question, the, the only question going into this was, how G-rated is it going to be? This rivals the duct tape incident, folks. <laughs> I'm not going to go into what happened in the match. There was loads of cool spots. No, none of which involved John Cena. The only There was the fucking Usos versus Harper and Rowan. Yeah, fuck, like, oh, Cena threw the steel steps at Bray Wyatt. Those steps are made of fucking tinfoil. It's tinfoil wrapped plastic. They wiggle when they're flying through the air. Yeah, steel doesn't do that. I don't know if you're aware, but anyway. So the match ends, right? 
after Bray Wyatt has been completely destroying, the only move Cena did was his typical no-sell FU 35 feet in the air that, of course, Bray Wyatt couldn't get up from on his own. The other Wyatts had to pick him up, but that's besides the point. They're fighting, like, in the technical area with the pyrotechnics control. I think they accidentally set off a pyrotechnic. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Cena FU's him through, like, a crate. So Bray Wyatt is lying down in a crate. At which point, he immediately knows what's going to happen. I knew what He goes, was... as soon as Bray Wyatt goes through the crate, he goes, No! I knew what was going to happen. I saw it. He grabs another crate. He uses his noodle and puts it over the other crate. So Bray Wyatt is trapped and can't make the ten count. And then Cena, like, okay. he stands over the crate with that goofy fucking chat cunt smile of his. Yeah, I use my brain. Gives one of these. Brain blast. And stands on the crate like this throughout the duration of the ten count. And buries, literally, bury him <laughs> under him a crate. coffin and bury him. That's it. I no longer care about Bray Wyatt. He's ruined forever. He can fucking win every match for the rest of his career cleanly against Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, all the guys I hate. And I won't care. The company ruined him. They told me, why the fuck should I care? He can't beat Cena with two gigantic fucking bearded lumberjacks assisting him. It's got to be Cena and team bathing suit hip-hop Samoan prick. They just dominate everyone. Cena just can't be beat. He's got a... He literally buried Bray Wyatt in the match under a fucking... And he couldn't just win on the account... On the accord of his strength. He has to use his brain. I go, he Rob, He's like Jimmy Neutron. Brain yeah. blast the nation. I'm gonna bury you in the fucking crate that's made of cheap fucking... Construction paper! They threw him through like this box. It was supposed to be hard. This was worse than the plastic ambulance first Ryback. The crate like implodes and like powder comes up as if it was construction paper he just went through. This is bullshit. I hate John Cena, alright? Oh, there were some good spots in this match. Yeah, none of them involved Cena. It was fucking... I, I like the spot when Luke Harper superplexed Jimmy Uso or whatever the fuck through two tables. Two guys who aren't even in the fucking match. That was nice. I liked when Bray Wyatt tackled Cena through a barricade. That was nice. But I liked when fucking Bray Wyatt hip tossed or what's it? Hip dropped Cena and almost choked him to death. That was a good spot. But you know what Cena did? He used his noodle, and then after the fucking match, the Three Stooges with their diet do, by which at this point, Kings is empty. <laughs> have to say, well, you know what? Tonight, Cena proved that he really lives by the monocler. Never give up. You can go fuck yourselves, okay? Never give up my fucking ball bag. Cena, you fucking suck. Thanks for ruining what could have been one of the greatest wrestlers of our generation. I no longer care about Bray Wyatt and his fucking stupid family. Oh man, Cena must have drunk his diet dew! <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so then Paige beat Alicia Fox. Good. Alicia Fox sucks. Get this bitch off my TV. <laughs> She's terrible. She was just like, in the middle of the match, she just started crying like, Oh, she hurt my face! This isn't a good gimmick. This is shit. Get this bitch off my TV. You know who she looked like when she was crying? Oh my god. We have to like, put up like a thing. I came to the revelation. She looks just like Simba from The Lion King, <laughs> facially. We'll try if we can find a picture of her. Put, put him up in this video. She looks just like Simba. So then Evolution versus The Shield. Batista is trolling the fans so hard tonight. He was dressed in all blue and wore elbow pads up to here. Everything was blue. It was hysterical. There was no way he was serious because A, he's never worn that color before. B, he's never worn elbow pads like that before. The guy was trolling because he knows retarded fans will just hate. Oh, well, he's, he wore red shoes. Let's hate him. He wore skinny jeans in a backstage segment. That means he's shitty. So, good going, Batista. That was hysterical. People were calling him Blue Tista, which I thought was <laughs> fucking hysterical. Uh, this match was awesome. We all knew it would be awesome. Would you say it was the match of the night? Uh, it has to be, because everything else fucking sucked. Was it better than the last time they fought? I don't think so. I think the last one was better. Yeah. But this match was really, really epic on a storytelling level. Because, like, the evolution... First of all, they ripped Roman Reigns' shirt off and... All the girls went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
uh, and they had him over the steel steps, and they were all whipping him. They made kendo sticks look hardcore. It was like roots. Whipping him with it, and then he had, like, fucking scars all over his back, which was awesome. Well, I'm not even going to try to explain all the cool shit that happened in this match, because... Rollins, like, yeah. popped up on the Tron out of nowhere, did a crazy monkey yeah, flip. Yeah, if you didn't see it, that's your own fucking problem. Go watch it. We're not going to explain it to you. All, all, that ha all you need to know is... You don't shield. need to hype the Shield anymore. Everybody knows how great yeah. they are. The Shield got dominated for most of the match, but... Big spot after big spot later, they didn't just super, all of a sudden, were in control. They slowly crept back into control of the match, and eventually swept Evolution. Not one of the Shield got eliminated, all Evolution got eliminated. Those are Triple H bury people! What's Batista doing back? He's a part-timer, he's going to bury talent! Orton sucks! Two times now. Fantastic match. Great ending to a fucking terrible, insulting show. I hope John Cena chokes to death tonight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I hope John Cena gets fucking released. He's garbage. Can I use my noodle? I do the noodle dance. You can't tell me that that was good. You can't. You just can't do it. Don't sit there and tell me, wasn't it a good match? No, I knew Cena was going to win. The only question was, how G-rated is it going to be? And they didn't disappoint on that front. Oh! He's in a box. There's another box over here. If I put this box over that box, he can't get out. <laughs> you're stuck down there, Jack. You can't see me because you're under the box. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I guess we got to watch Raw tomorrow. I'd rather pluck every hair out of my scrotum <laughs> with my teeth. Well, too bad. We're watching Raw tomorrow, and there will be a Raw review up yeah. after the show. So... Fuck Cody Rhodes.